Hey guys, welcome back. We're a Canadian homesteading channel. We're based in Niagara Falls. And um, yeah, it's just been a crazy summer. I'm sure you guys are the same. It's been so hot, so busy. Even with all the COVID stuff, we've managed to keep ourselves just wide open. But uh, got some time to make a video and it's a sponsored video. It's sponsored by my weedy driveway. <laughs> yeah, so we've all got, if you got a gravel driveway, I'm sure you deal with weeds or if you're, uh, you know, if you're gardening, you got your weeds in your beds, or if you want to kill the seeds before the season starts, which is the main reason I picked up this bad girl. Uh, Inferno, you know, weed eater, flame weeder, eater, whatever you want to call them. Um, been waiting to pull the trigger on this one for a while and just decided to get it. You know, I put that new rock path in, uh, put a video out a couple weeks ago about that. So we've built a really nice rock path to our garden. Um, don't have any weeds growing up through anyways I got landscape and fabric in like four inches of stone so I should be good that way but you know you get the odd fly-by-nighter and sits in there and uh, sets up but um, the front of our house right where our walk path is um, to get into the back of the house got a bunch of weeds out there so I'm gonna test this bad girl out there's a like a lot of weeds out there so I'm gonna just light them up and see what happens um, I'm really interested to see if these things work so if you've got a gravel driveway or you know, an issue with the weeds. Check this video out. It'll be a really good, uh, interesting video. I'm gonna uh, do a before and after, after, you know, a few days and really see if this thing works. You know, paid about 150 bucks for this model. It looks very similar to the Amazon one that I got in the description. So if you, uh, if this ends up working and uh, you wanna purchase it and you're using Amazon, we'd appreciate it if you click the link below. We get like a little bit of a kickback, which is kind of cool. Um, if you want to, it's all up to you. But anyways, enough, uh, Jibber jabber, let's uh, go get a propane cylinder. We'll hook this thing up, see if we can get her going and uh, cook some weeds. All right guys, so I read the instructions. Uh, I've got it going. I just was gonna go over it with you guys cause I don't know if, you know, it's my first time running one of these things and I can tell you right now, that thing's pretty intimidating. <laughs> um, sorry, just grabbing a wrench here. So first thing you need to do, find a full propane tank. First of all, uh, tighten with a wrench. The instructions say to tighten it up with a wrench. So that's what I did. Just snug. Now, it's pretty hardcore, but basically close the valve on the, uh, on the gun, the torch, close the valve on here. You're gonna slowly, slowly open this just a smidge and you can see the line pressure up and hear it. and open the valve just a smidge, just a smidge too. And then you press the trigger and that shoots the propane out and just be ready because it's pretty, pretty violent. That's her. Oh. So then what I do is just dial this down a smidge. So you really don't need much coming out of this valve, okay? Like that was probably too much to get it going. And this, this trigger is what, uh, keeps it going so if I let go of this trigger though it closes the valve and I'll have to relight it so keep it lit keep your hand on the valve and adjust the flame intensity with the oh, there it is with the uh, with the knob here okay so if I come off this I gotta relight it you know and I mean you just open that valve up a smidge you can really hear the gas All right, let's go burn some stuff. Now, obviously, just like like a propane cylinder, you know, close this, uh, close the supply, and let burn off all that, everything out of the uh, out of the line, right? That's what I would recommend, anyways. I'm not sure if that's in the instructions or not, but now there's no propane in the actual system. All right, so. Just want to point out a couple safety things, you know, I'm doing this first thing in the morning. There's still dew on the grass. Um, I would definitely not recommend this in the dead of summer. I mean, as long as it's controlled, right? Obviously. Now, with that being said, um, I've got my little two pound fire extinguisher with me in case stuff gets out of control. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, burn a bit of this grass. I've got some weeds here around the side of the uh, block foundation here.
All right, well, I just spent a solid 20 minutes on the uh, propane torch. Got her, got her red hot. Um, it's definitely a decent little workout, you know? The biggest thing is that dead man switch, you know? I'm not telling you to do this by any stretch of the imagination, but if you were gonna be on this thing long-term, I would definitely have some sort of an elastic band just to pinch it off. Just cause, you know, the old forearms really take the shit kick in there. Um, here's what I got though. I never got to over there yet, but I would say I was on it probably 20 minutes. And like I said, with the asphalt, you definitely stuff lights on fire. Not to mention we took down this willow tree here on the winter time and I stump ground it and I got chips all over the place. So, you know, really watch your fires. Um, yeah, so this is what I got. I'm going to take the, I think I'm just going to go with the rake. I'm just going to rake it all out, get it back to a normal color and we'll see, uh, We'll see how it looks uh, after that. All right, guys, we're back in the garage now. It's been a couple weeks. I finally, finally been able to get my hair cut since uh, COVID-19 started back in March. <laughs> it's getting pretty shaggy there for a while. Anyways, uh, like I said, it's been a couple weeks, so I've noticed uh, the propane torch has pretty much worked. I've got a couple of small little, uh, little um, weeds popping up at the one garage door. And other than that, they're pretty much dead. Like, you know, it depends how much time you spend cooking them. Um, you know, I really, I probably went a little harder than I needed to and you get down to the roots and get it done anyhow. So other than that, it's been pretty much a success, I would say. Um, and for me, like I probably did it, I probably burnt for about half an hour. Um, reclaimed a bunch of my driveway and cleaned up, you know, it's just nice to have no weeds, you know. Once you get a couple going, it starts getting out of control. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this little video. Just a fun little thing. I wanted to, I've always wanted to try one of these propane torches out. So there you have it. If you're into homesteading and how to's, if you got your own homestead or just a really big driveway like I do, um, consider subscribing. We put out videos every, every week, sometimes twice a week, depending on how, uh, how busy I am. And yeah, we got lots going on. Like for right now I'm digging out a pond. Um, we're working on our four acre market garden in a couple of years. And we've got a two story addition going off the back of the house here in like the next month. So it's gonna be a busy little channel here. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one then, okay? Take care.